Hello, I'm Mark from Deepak, and today we're going to take a look at the Fisher Goldbug 2. The Fisher Goldbug 2 is extremely sensitive to small nuggets. The Goldbug 2 is more famous for its ability to pick up small specimens that even pulse induction machines leave behind. It has an easy to use interface and can be set up in a matter of seconds. We'll take a look at the controls now. Switch on the machine using the volume control on the top right corner. The threshold is adjusted at the rear of the box just above the coil connector. You should adjust the threshold to a comfortable level. To the bottom left you'll see two switches. One is our mode control and one is our ground control. It is recommended to begin in normal and to set the ground switch to low mineralization. Next we can adjust our volume and sensitivity. Set the sensitivity as high as possible while still maintaining a stable threshold. Next, we need to ground balance our machine. Pump the coil up and down and adjust the central ground reject switch. This is the one with 10 positions. Adjust it to the position where there is minimal feedback from the ground. With this set, use the outer knob to fine tune the ground balance. If unable to completely eliminate ground noise, Adjust the ground switch to normal and repeat the procedure. Again, first adjust the inside knob. And once you've found the position where ground noise is at a minimum, use the outer control to completely eliminate feedback. We're looking for the area where there is no response from the ground. In extremely hot ground, switch to high. Setting the ground switch to normal is sufficient in most coal bearing areas. Once ground balance is complete, you're ready to detect. The Low Bug 2 is sensitive to all types of targets, but it is most famous for its sensitivity to really small gold that other machines would miss. Switching to boost will make the Gold Bug 2 even more sensitive. When switching to boost, you may need to reduce the sensitivity and adjust the threshold. And finally, Iron Disc. In areas infested with ferrous targets, iron discrimination can be used to eliminate signals from unwanted targets. Ferrous targets will produce a broken signal with a low crackling sound. Good targets will be unaffected. Now let's take a look at the Go Bug 2 outside. First switch on the machine. Next, adjust the threshold. Adjust the sensitivity as high as you can while still maintaining a stable threshold. If we change the boost mode, the machine may become unstable, so we may need to reduce sensitivity. In areas infested with iron, use iron disc. Here we'll use normal. Adjust the ground switch according to the soil conditions that you are in. 
The headphone socket is located to the bottom right of the control panel. To ground balance the machine, find an area free of metal targets. Pump the coil up and down and at first adjust the central ground reject switch. Once ground noise is minimized, we can use the outer fine control to completely eliminate noise from the ground. When moving to a new site, re ground balance the machine. Once you hear a nice stable threshold, you're ready to detect. Here we've ground balanced the machine and we're going to listen to a variety of targets. The Go Bug 2 is sensitive to all size targets. Here we can see impressive depth on a 2 gram nugget. However, the Go Bug 2 is most famous for its sensitivity to small gold nuggets which other detectors would miss. If detecting in areas infested with iron, switch to iron disc mode. Ferrous targets will give a broken signal with a low crackling noise while other targets will be unaffected. As well as the standard 10 inch coil, the Goldbug combo also comes with a smaller 6.5 inch coil, making it even more sensitive to small nuggets. Fisher Goldbug 2, your key to finding fine gold.